the distributive property. So what we're going to learn is what is the distributive property today? We're going to learn how it's similar to what we saw with the negative sign outside of a set of brackets. And we're going to learn some important command words. So when you have a quiz like you did today, there's going to be certain expand words, <laughs> certain command words, sorry. One of them might be expand. And you might ask me, what does that mean? And I'll say, I'm sorry, this is a quiz. It's your job to pay attention and know what these command words mean. So when you see the word expand, what it means is that we want to remove the brackets. You will also see this with the command word simplify. If you see the word simplify, it's also going to ask you to expand to get rid of brackets. Simplify means to remove brackets. Expand means that you're going to multiply things out with the distributive property. What the distributive property says, and that's right here if we want to highlight some more, the distributive property says that we multiply each term in the brackets by the term outside the brackets. Right, and so in order to remove the brackets with the distributive property, this 3, and there's a multiplication, right? It's 3 times bracket x squared minus 5. What it means is you multiply the 3 by the x squared and the 3 by the minus 5. Just like we did with the negative sign out in front, where we did it to each term, the distributive property will do the same thing with the number in front. If you could. So once I multiply, what's 3 times x squared? Perfect. And what's 3 times negative 5? Negative 15. So we have just expanded by getting rid of the brackets. And if we look, are there any like terms that we could put together? No. So we're done. That is Expanding, that's the distributive property. Whenever there's a number in front, that number gets multiplied by everything inside. No. Uh, if you didn't get it done before, you can watch Leaves in the Space. So here's our second example. We're going to expand. So again, it gives you that command word. And you have to know expand means get rid of the brackets. And if there's a negative outside, and we've seen this before, that negative goes to both of them. And two negatives equal a positive. So negative times 3x will equal negative 3x. And the negative times the negative 5 will be plus 5. Again, we have no like terms. Now, you've never seen the distributive property before because up till now we haven't done a lot of algebra. We've just done stuff with numbers. So if we take an example with If we take an example with regular numbers, like 7 times 17, what Ryan said to do is he, he said, just do 7 times 10 and then add 7 times 7. What he was doing was the distributive property. Because if we do 7 times 17 and we break up 17, to be 10 plus 7, the distributive property says you can do 7 times 10 and 7 times 7 and add them together. 7 times 10 plus 7 times 7. What's really nice about that is it changes something that would be hard to multiply in your head into two things that are in your 10 times table that you know. 7 times 10 is 70. 7 times 7 is 49. Add them together and you get 119. So in this case, the distributive property actually helps us more 
than what we would normally do with order of operations. Normally in order of operations, you'd add the 10 plus 7 together, but then you might get a number that's too hard to multiply. So it makes sense to use the distributive property, and then you can add things up easier. So if we did another example, 6 times 23, it might be easier to do 6 times 20 plus 3. Yeah, I know. 6 times 20 would be 120. And 6 times 3 would be 18. So here's our third example. I want you to try this one on your own. And I'll put the answer up in a bit. If you were showing your work, to show your work, the first thing you would do is draw arrows to show that you're multiplying that negative 4 by each of those terms. And then negative 4 times 5x will be negative 20x plus 8y minus 24. Negative 4 times 5 will give you negative 20. So here we have the command word expand. We're, we're going to use the distributive property to get rid of the brackets. And the word simplify, which means if we have any like terms, we're going to have to put them together. So this combines our multiplication and our adding and subtracting together. On the expand part, so the 3 would go to here, to here, and to here. Maybe. And the negative 2 would go to each of those, which would give us 6x squared minus 9x plus 15 minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 8. <laughs> and are there any like terms with 6x squared? Negative 2x squared. When we put those together, we get 4x squared. Are there any like terms with negative 9x? Negative 4x. When we put those together, we get negative 13x. Any like terms with the plus 15? And if we put those together, Plus 23.